Hey folks, thanks for checking out a video on G4G. I'm Napalm Dawn. I'm on my fat bear Druidicus and I'm going to show you here in the World of Warcraft Shadowlands beta how to get the Plague Fallen chest. So the Plague Fallen chest is a chest that's way up there on the bony parapet that's up there. Now if you have the Revendreth Sparkly Vampire Twilight Teleport it's possible you might be able to click your way up there through the teleport, but I am Maldraxi, so unfortunately there is nothing that I can do about that. So I'm all the way up over here to start this because of the fact that once I get down there, I get a fog debuff that reduces my healing taken. If I was to do this right at the tunnel entrance, the debuff that is going out on the scunner platform which affects haste will also be on me thereby totally screwing up my ability to heal so what i'm going to do to start this off is i'm going to fleshcraft which is going to give me a nice little shield i'm going to get some hots rolling on me go into deer form and jump right into the goo bear form now this is the healing reduction caustic fog this concentrated plague is what i need to live through if i was to go any further i would be affected by the scunner fog which would reduce my haste So 10 stacks, I'm now a plague. Because I'm a plague, I can click this plague fallen pipe over here. Click it. You'll take the slime pipe. Take the skin boat to Tuna Town. We'll jump across, and here is the Plague Fallen Chest, which will give us an Iridescent Ooze, which is a pet, a couple other things, and Infused Spinal Dust, which is Anima for my Reservoir. I'll take that book. Here is the Iridescent Ooze. And there he is. The iridescent ooze with creeping ooze, sludge belch, glop, slime trail, creeping fungus, and consumed corpse. So, thank you for checking out this video on G4G. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in World of Warcraft Shadowlands.